So here, um, we're just going to go ahead and start with the very first step um, of actual composition. Let's assume we've all, um, you know, um, we've all gone through the file already as we have. Um, so the first thing is, is that we're going to go ahead and apply the SCML template. So to apply the SCML template, all you have to do is you have to go to the SAI here and then apply SCML template. Once you get to this um, dialog box, select no. If you happen to have clicked yes, um, you can cancel out of the following dialog box. Uh, okay, so you apply the SCML template. That's the very first thing that you do. The next thing um, that we do is we uh, check for graphics. So we're gonna go and scroll down to uh, that nice picture, of the cat attacking the other cat uh, right here. It's on page, according to my screen, nine out of 11, but I know where it pages things differently. Um, you can also search for the word attack. That'll get you to that image quickly. It's the only image in the document and we're going to save it out. I'm actually not gonna go ahead and do the same process I did before. Um, I believe if I hit save as picture, it'll let you drop out as JPEG as Alicia um, confirmed in the chat earlier. And so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and save that um, here into our document that avoids us having to use earth view. We still like earth view because it's it's nice and um, robust, but at the same time simple, but you know, um, this is a simpler way and we're just gonna go ahead and save that. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it and then I'm going to remove that image. And once we get, um, and now we're gonna apply um, the image query. So if we go and place, <coughs> excuse me, if we place um, the um, cursor where we want the image query to be inserted, usually on a new line. Um, we go ahead and place our cursor there. Insert query um, in the SAI under editorial, and then I am for image query, and we type in the name of the image, which we've named fig01.jpg, and then hit okay. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and apply um, the paragraph styles to um, the chapter numbers, chapter titles, part numbers, part titles, and other um, head uh, material. So we're gonna go to view and switch to draft view. We should already have the style area pane, but just as a quick refresher, if you need that, all you have to do is go to file, options, advanced, scroll down to the bottom where it says display, and where it says style area pane width in draft and outline views, just put in a number one and then hit okay and you should have your style area pane. And so we're gonna go through and I'm gonna just do this first one and then as, um, as a practical time, I'm gonna have you go through the um, other um, heads and uh, in the document. So I'm gonna get rid of this half title information because that's all that it's, it's just information, instructions telling us what it is. So we're gonna get rid of that. Just go ahead and delete that. Delete the square brackets around OTN demo, right? And I'm going to use the style galleries as I feel that that's the one people are gonna be most comfortable with, but remember there are other options. So if we go to style galleries, right? We're gonna load our default, so just in case I went too quickly, style galleries, load default. I'm gonna to go to this first one where it says front matter, zero one front matter, and then say, okay. And here we have our style gallery. I'm gonna place my cursor. You don't have to highlight all the text. You can just place your cursor there, especially when applying paragraph styles. If you're applying character styles, which we haven't done just yet, um, you would have to select the text that you want applied. Um, so go ahead and click on where it says OTN demo, and we're gonna make that the book half title. So it's BKHT3 if you loaded the default uh, gallery. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on that and make that BKH. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this add card instruction and this uh, open uh, square bracket. I'm gonna place our cursor 
in our paragraph and we're going to make this series title which is SERT and then we're going to go ahead and click on that SERT is right over here it's on the fourth column from the left um, and fourth row from the top and that's SERT and again remember we're treating these even though it's not necessarily called a head it is a head like um, a paragraph and so that's why we're composing it now versus composing it later although but no that's actually a good point to address especially now while we're we're addressing some questions um, you know and and Richard is right that there is there is a, that certain benefit that if you have split everything up if you know one file becomes you know corrupted by no fault of uh, you know anyone else um, you know now you still have the rest of of the document. However, um, the way that, that we work in Scribe is that we, um, in order to sort of avoid having multiple people with the multiple points of view sort of addressing things, um, we split up the work by task. So for example, the person who is doing the composition uh, may not necessarily be the person that does the editorial and the person who does the editorial may not necessarily be the, the typesetter, although if somebody's like a, a wonderkin of that kind and they can do all three, great, wonderful, right? Um, so what we do um, is that we do have backup procedures um, and actually that's something that we're going to discuss once we get to the lesson on um, actual um, uh, project management and and other little guidelines that um, we here at Scribe have and give as recommendations. You, know, We actually have a process in which we take the file and we make a copy of it, save it, date it so that we know that that's file but that we can go back to it if necessary so um, that is taken um, into account and uh, when we work with multiple chapters we often do combine the files so that way we're having one consistent uh, composition throughout the entire manuscript um, and that's one of the, the advantages of sort of working in one file what I want to do at this point is just compose um, the heads themselves if you'll notice there on my screen I've left the TOC alone because we'll handle that um, a little bit later. Um, so at this point all you need to uh, compose are uh, things like chapter number, chapter title, subtitle, author, um, a head, and whatnot. The reason for this is so that we don't lose any rendering on the actual content of the, um, of the um, demo here. 